Hey everybody, it's me, Stu Helma, Food Fan, back here at Food Fan Headquarters, and I just wanted to record a quick little review of a brunch I had recently at Holman and Finch, and I am on a brunch kick these days. I am a big fan of brunch, and always have been, and I like to try them all. I have a sort of Pokemon approach to brunch, and so... I'm asking everybody, if you know about a good one, let me know about it. And if I have a good one, I'm going to let you know about it. And I had a good one at Holman and Finch. I went there with my boss at Asheville Food Tours, or I should say my partner at Asheville Food Tours, Patty Riles. And Patty and I go eat out a lot together. We are frequent food eating partners and we, apart from being partners on the business, we're food partners, ah, me and Patty, yay. And um, we popped into Holman and Finch. I got a big old waffle and some sausage. And I should have ordered an egg to go with that, but I was like, I don't want to eat too much food. I don't know, one more egg wouldn't have killed me, especially when you hear what I had after the waffle and sausage. And then Patty had the shrimp and grits. And Patty also built his own uh, Bloody Mary. That's right. And he was pretty excited about that. He, he got a sparkle in his eye and he was all excited. I took a picture of him and he looks like the, just the king of the world holding his own Bloody Mary that he built himself. And I don't know what was in it. Probably, I'm going to say like alcohol and tomato juice and other things, including a piece of bacon. I saw a piece of bacon in there and he really enjoyed it. And he enjoyed his shrimp and grits very much. And I tried uh, one of the shrimps. He let me eat one of the shrimps and it was delicious. And I've had the shrimp and grits before at Holman and Finch. And I can attest to the fact that it's quite delicious. And the pan, the waffle was very good. It was pretty basic. It was a waffle. It came with butter and maple syrup. The sausage, however, was like a superstar. And I, I gave some of that to Patty. And he agreed with me that the sausage was kind of like the highlight of the whole meal for both of us. And he said, Hey, it would have been great to have some of this sausage in the shrimp and grits. And so the next time I go, I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to get the shrimp and grits and then get a side of sausage and put it in there myself if I have to. Um, and so, and what else? Oh, and both of those, all of that. So all of that was really good. And there was plenty of seating. We were there kind of late. It was like two o'clock, something like that. Not too bad, like one thirty, two o'clock on a Sunday. And there were plenty of seats. So get on into Holman and Finch. The atmosphere was quite nice. And the service was excellent. And we have some friends that we, that were working there that Patty and I know from doing food tours. And so it was nice to see them. We know them from other places and there they are at Holman and Finch. So it was great to see friends working at a newish, newish place. Been around a little while now. And, uh, but one of those friends very kindly sent out a dessert for us. And it was the sticky toffee pudding, which I have been meaning to try since the very first time I went into Holman and Finch. And uh, I just I've always been too full. Like they feed me a lot of food. I've been go. I've gone in for tastings, and tastings are like blowout of food. So I never had room for the sticky toffee pudding. But they sent it out, and it's all hot. It's like hot, hot, hot. Comes with a little ball of ice cream and some caramel sauce on top of it. Like pour it on top at the table. A little show for you. And uh, it was, it was like really, really, really good. Oh my God. If you're a sweets fan, I got a sweet tooth. I mean, I got a savory tooth too, but I got a sweet tooth that's like the size of a normal human being's whole head. And uh, I loved this sticky toffee pudding. Now, let me tell you, Patty is not a huge fan of sweets. And, and I'll back up a little bit and tell you that, Although I have a sweet tooth, I do not like cloyingly sweet desserts. I like a really good sweet, you know, like it doesn't have to be too dang sweet. Um, and But Patty, not like that, not even like that. Like he just, he can take it or leave it. But he, of course, we, it was huge and it was his obligation to share it with me. And he, uh, he said it was, he, he crushed his half and he really enjoyed it as well. So it satisfied a person with a sweet tooth and a person without a sweet tooth. And that's saying something about how good this sticky toffee pudding was. So 
get on in the Holman and Finch. It's a brand new play. Well, I keep saying brand new or kind of new or new ish. The story with it is it's, it's located on Biltmore Ave right in downtown Asheville. And it, when it came to town in 2019, it arrived as H and F burgers, which was an offshoot of H and F burger in Atlanta, Georgia, where they won a James Beard award. So they opened up an H and F burger here in Asheville and they were selling their award-winning burger as well as fried chicken. I was a big fan of the fried oysters, which came with fried pickles. And it was just really good combination of stuff. And so I was a fan of H&F for sure. And so was Patty, speaking of him. And uh, then like 2020 came and they struggled a little bit in the beginning and then they just papered up all the windows, right? And there was pretty much paper in the windows until not that long ago, I think, end of 2021 or beginning of this year. The paper came down and they had reemerged like a like a butterfly from a caterpillar had come Holman and Finch from H and F. And I think you can put it together to see that those are the same letters, H and F and Holman and Finch. And so, uh, yeah, and Holman and Finch, they redid the decor. I'm sure I've talked about this before because I totally remember saying that this is like the sixth or seventh time that that space has been completely remodeled in about as many years. And uh, so it's been remodeled again, and it's, it's really nice on the bar side. Uh, there's like a charcuterie section, and the dining room side is small, but very cozy and comfortable, and we were very comfortable sitting in there. And yeah, positive experience. So they've re-emerged as Holman and Finch. It's fancier than it used to be, but for those of you who were fans of H and F as was I and Patty. Um, they still have the burger and I'm pretty sure they still do the fried chicken. And I'm not sure, but I'm gonna I'm gonna double check and see if they still do those fried oysters that come with the fried pickles because that was really great. And the first time I got them I was like, mmm, fried oysters. And it didn't say on the menu <laughs> that it came with fried pickles like all together. And so the first one I ate was not an oyster, it was a pickle. And I was like, that, that's the weirdest taste in oyster I've ever tasted in my life, what the F? And then through a slow tentative process of biting other things in the plate, I determined on my own that there were fried pickles mixed in with the fried oysters. And then I was psyched, but I still wasn't sure if it was on purpose, you know? And then I wrote about that. And not even kidding, they read my thing that I wrote and they added it to the menu. They said it comes with fried pickles. And then, and what I said was when you, when you order fried oysters and you realize there's fried pickles and it doesn't say so, you kind of feel like, oh, the pickles are filler. But when you order fried oysters and it says it comes with fried pickles, you're like, the pickles are extra. So it's all a, it's all a mind game, everybody. It always is with the eaters of this world. You eat with your mind before you eat with your eyes before you eat with your mouth. All right. Anyhow, uh, thanks for listening and follow me on Facebook and Instagram and Twitter at Stu Helm Food Fan. Follow me on Substack. You'll have to Google that, Stu Helm Substack. It has a longer URL that I can never remember. But you can subscribe to my Substack letter and you get special updates that you may not get anywhere else. Who knows? Uh, and also, please subscribe to my newly revived YouTube uh, channel. And that would be the same. Just the, not, no food fan on this one, just Stu Helm on the uh on actually you could google food fan because it is a playlist on youtube all right thanks for listening i'll talk to you soon